Hey, this is Puneet back again and in this video, I'm going to share with you a smart formula to count how many salespersons have achieved their target and how many of them have not achieved their target. And mind you for this, I'm not going to use any helper column. So let's start and see how we can use this smart formula. All right. So let me start off with the table that where I have salesperson's name and target and achievement. And now, as I said, I want to count total number of salespersons who have achieved their target and who have not achieved their target. And for this, I'm not going to use any helper column. So what I'll do, first of all, I'll enter the sum product function. And in the first argument, I'm going to specify the target column. That is the range B2 to B31. Because I'm trying to find the people who have achieved their target, that means the target will be lower than the achievement. So I'll enter the lower than sign. And then I'm going to specify the achievement range. Now my formula is complete, but I need to do one more thing. I need to wrap this entire condition in brackets and I need to enter minus sign twice. So the whole idea of using these two minus signs is to convert true and false into one and zero. I'll show you this later in this video, but let's hit enter and see what I'm going to get in return. So I have count of 11. That means 11 people have achieved their target. So 11 salespersons achieved their target. Now let me do this for the not achieved as well. Some product target range. So this time I'll use the greater than sign instead of lower than sign because people, the salesperson who have not achieved their target, so their achievement will be lower than the target. And that is why I'm going to use the greater than sign for target. And again, the achievement. Close the range. Let me wrap it again. Let me just add minus sign to minus signs and let me wrap it with the closing bracket and my formula is complete and here i have 19 salespersons who have not achieved the target so if i go and count the total number of salespersons i have 30 salesperson and that's how i have 11 and 19 which makes a complete count of 30 so this is this is one of the best ways to count the total number of people who have not achieved so the whole idea is to compare two columns with each others and then get the count in a single cell and without using a helper column now let me quickly show you how this formula works so let me edit this formula and here you can see i'm comparing two different columns with each other so i'm asking here if the target column is lower than the achievement column so whenever a salesperson achieve the target that means their achievement will be higher than the target so here i am specifying this entire range for the comparison and when i press f9 you can see it gives me true false true false based on the target versus achievement condition so for the first value i have true that means the target has been achieved by this salesperson. So target is this and the achievement is this, which is higher than the target. And that is why I have true here. But for the second value, for the second salesperson, I have false. That means the target is higher than the achievement. So the target is not achieved. And that is why I have true and false based on the condition. And now when I have these two minus signs, these two minus signs, and let me just press F9 here. You can see it converts all these values into 1 and 0 from true and false to 1 and 0 and then in the end some product gives you the count of these conditions so if you have 11 in the result that means 11 salespersons are there who have achieved their target so make sure to download the sample file from the link in the description so that you can have a look yourself and use this formula in your data as well and i'll see you in the next video